If you're coming from my The Mistreatment of Max on Season 7 video, or have seen it recently, you know the reason behind this what if video. If that's not the case, let's quickly go over it. Essentially, due to whom the production wanted to crown on season 7, or rather which type of a queen was pushed to get more screen time and further into the competition, certain rules on Drag Race were bent to save these queens. This did not just happen on season 7, but season 8 too, so that's also coming on Friday. We're going to be looking at season 7 from episode 2, the Glamazonian Airways episode first, and then in the second part of the video, from the top 6 episode. Let's begin. So, the first scenario, we have two groups of queens, and following the rules of all prior seasons of Drag Race, the winning team, Ginger's team, are all high, with Ginger winning the main challenge, of course, while the losing team, Trixie's team, are queens eligible to be safe, low, in the bottom two, or eliminated. Based on the judges' critiques and their previous placements, Maxelina Davenport, Pearl, and Violet Tchotchke are the safe queens. We could have easily chosen any combination of the Max, Pearl, Trixie, Violet, quadruple for the three safe placements given, but since Trixie was the team leader, we oughta put her as low, but not in the bottom two because she herself did not fuck up, and as a whole, her group was not horrible. She just had two performers that underperformed. Fame, of course, goes up against Katya in her legendary performance to Olivia Newton-John's Twist of Fate, and gets obliterated and eliminated. Episode 3, the Shake Squeer episode, is up next. With Max and Kennedy both still in the competition, they win the mini-challenge. I really don't think that Sasha Bell can outhold either Max or Kennedy. Max got to pick first, and the teams are more or less the same, really, with only Sasha being Max's last pick instead of Miss Fame. Max went with picking queens that are known for being theatrical and maybe even had a background in theater, and then was also stuck with fame, but fame was open-minded. So Max's team consists of her, Ginger, Trixie, Kasha, Jaden Dior Fierce, and Sasha Bell. While Kennedy chose, I guess by having a random name generator in her head, and so she picked Jasmine, Katya, Pearl, Candy, and then got Violet. With 12 queens here, and it being the second group challenge, half of each team is safe, while the rest are either high or low. Max, as the team leader, one of the main characters on her team's sketch, and with a fantastic bearded look gets the win here, with the high queens being her teammates, Ginger and Kasha. I can already hear people wondering why I put them there. They both had okay runway looks, but were nothing spectacular, but next to Max, they were the best performers. Let's also not forget Kasha's closing line of teenage suicide. Don't do it. For the safe queens, we have Jaden Dior Fierce, Candy Ho, Katya, Sasha Bell. Her role would have been the one that fame got, nothing spectacular, but also nothing too bad, and her runway also probably wouldn't have been spectacular. Then Trixie Mattel and Violet Chachki. Pearl is low, while Jasmine loses the lip sync to Kennedy. Spoof, there it is, episode was a hard one to figure out. So, the queens had to get together randomly, and we have a couple of guarantees for the three groups. The first guarantee is that Ginger, Kennedy, and Kasha are together, but with Sasha being here and her and Ginger allegedly being good friends on the show, even though the returning episode did not portray that quite well, we have our first four-person team of these four. The second guarantee is that Katya, Pearl, and Trixie would work together, and then they got fame, but here they don't have fame, so their fourth person is either Max, Jaden, Candy, or Violet. Of course, it's gonna be Max, because of her relationship with Trixie prior to the show, and in general her being part of that Aryan Airlines clique. The odd team of three would be Jaden, Candy, and Violet. For these three teams, in the judging, they were divided into halves, with the threesome being divided into one to two ratio. So here, there were five high queens, one of them being the winner, of course, who were called out first and sent to Untucked. Kennedy wins the main challenge, while our high queens are Ginger, so that's two from the first team, Katya and Max from the second team, and Jaden from the third team. By the way, I don't think that the third team would have been as good as it was with these three queens, but I also think that with Jaden there, they would have still been able to pull through. 
Out of the remaining 6, we need 3 safe queens and 3 low queens, and this decision was also based a little on teams. So, one remainder of queens is safe, one half of whichever half left is safe with them, the other person from that half is then low, while the worst half left is in the bottom. It's very confusing as I've said, it took me a little to figure it out originally, but I think you'll see what I mean when I announce the rest of the placements. So, the safe queens are Kasha and Sasha. Oh, look at Sasha skating through because of her constant affiliation with Ginger. Violet gets the safe spot instead of Candy because originally Candy was also low as she is here. And of course, Pearl and Trixie are in the bottom too with Pearl beating Trixie. We can ponder on if Trixie would have been saved here because we're looking at season 7 without the cool young relatable model queen being favored. But still, I find Pearl to be much more engaging on season 7. They had a story line in her regardless of the fact that she was what they were looking for, so I don't think Trixie would ever be the one saved here. The Despi Awards have minor changes to them. Firstly, the teams in the mini challenge and afterwards the maxi challenge are Jaden and Kennedy, Max and Pearl, and Katya and Kasha, from the ones we already know. Sasha will of course glue herself to Ginger and Candy and Violet would have been the odd pair. Katya and Kasha win the mini challenge. We know that both for storyline reasons and then just in general kind of being the best pair, Pearl and Max win the main challenge, with Jaden and Kennedy being high. The rest of the queens, yet again, got split into halves, one safe queen and one low queen from each pair. The safe queens are Ginger, Katya and Violet, of course. I think that the judges would have been tired of Sasha skating by, think like Jade Jolie on season 5, whereas Candy also was underwhelming for the majority of the season, so they'd be in the bottom two, with Candy, of course, beating Sasha. Another argument to back this up is the fact that Kasha did well prior to this episode, had a minimal fuck up in her introduction and was eliminated for it originally. Had she been a skinny 20 something year old fashionista, she would have been just fine. Rule Hollywood Stories, aka the only episode after season 2 that matters, because Merle is a judge. Ginger, by winning the mini challenge, got to pick her team and the rest of the teams for that matter, so she picked Katya and Kennedy for herself. While I think that she'd want to help Kasha by putting her with Jaden, somebody who was funny, and who, prior to this, did okay or stole the spotlight in her team in comedy or acting challenges, and also with Pearl, who just won the previous episode's challenge, with the odd team being Max, Violet, and Candy, who were a team originally as well, so yay, another argument to back up my choice. I could imagine Ginger even picking Kasha and Katya for herself, but she'd need someone to play Rue, if you know what I mean, so that her team is the best. Just for the sake of the video, Kasha would play Michelle, which... Yeah, even though Pearl wanted to play Michelle to do the accent, I feel like Kasha and Jaden would overpower Pearl here and have her play Merle, whose part in that team sketch was not the most stellar. Max, Kasha, and Violet are safe. Pearl would get a low spot just because Jaden and Candy really did not bring it to this challenge or the runway, while Pearl in this scenario might not have had to sacrifice her dead by tanning look for Tan with you. Either way, and again, the other two bombed hard. Hard. Candy's out. The seventh episode is the Snatch Game episode. Out of all of the queens we have here, we only didn't see Kasha's Snatch Game, but she showed who she would have could have done in a video on her channel. It's a really good video, so check it out. But in short, her characters were Judy Garland, ironically, Max wanted to do her too, Liza Minnelli, then Joan Rivers, whom she had already done on the season, and Dora, who's a fictional character, so that's a no-no, Sharon Osbourne, and Tina Turner. But her main choice was Liza, and we know how much Rue loves Liza, so she'd do Liza, say Liza one more time, Liza. This would have been one of the best, maybe even the best Snatch game ever, with only two queens actually doing badly in Jaden and Max. This Snatch game also gave us the first ever double Snatch game win, but this time that's not happening. I'm gonna give the win to Kasha because, again, great portrayal of Liza, and Rue and Michelle love Liza. Ginge, Katya, and Kennedy would have been high, Pearl and Violet are safe, you know, their snatch games weren't bad at all, nor were their runway looks, so the only low queens are, and as I already mentioned, Jaden and Max. Max sadly goes home again, though this time it makes sense. 
I could also see, for example, Katya and Pearl being safe while Violet being low, but again, Violet's snatch game was not bad. I don't know how they would have pulled something out of their ass to make her look as low, so we're going with these placements. For the makeover episode, Kennedy wins the mini challenge and pairs up the girls. When she was pairing them up originally, she said that she tried to pair similar styles or queens that would go well with each other, and even gave a good enough explanation for Jaden's pairing with Tempest. So, the pairs that we already have are Jasmine and Kennedy, Sasha and Ginger, and Trixie and Pearl. For the rest, Fame and Violet are an obvious pair, as are Tempest and Kasha, while Kennedy we know would never give Katya candy to work with, so we have Katya and Max, with Jaden and Candy as the last pair. The winner of this challenge is Pearl, of course, because plot armor, and an overall good performance. Violet and Fame would look stunning and be high, and seeing Max being made into a crude, filthy, completely out of her comfort zone character with Katya would place Katya high as well. Jasmine and Kennedy, just like their looks, are meh. Ginger is definitely in the bottom too. Putting Kasha with her there would be a disservice to how good she had been on the show so far, and Tempest and her get each other, they're the campy old school of Jack queens, so they'd gel well enough together to be low. We have to say goodbye to Jaden now. The John Waters episode, one of my favorites of season 7 and in general of Drag Race, gave us that iconically awful lip sync between Fame and Pearl, but sadly we don't get that now. When it comes to the queens pairing up, Ginger and Trixie, who returned, as you can see, go immediately for each other, while Katya, Kennedy and Kasha are together. So, K, K, K. Hmm. Violet and Pearl are the odd pair, and I can tell you immediately that they are also the bottom two. Ginger wins, the rest of the queens are all high except one, because uh, how the fuck could they not be? We know Kasha has an ugly dress or two in her repertoire, and she's theatrical enough to keep up with Katya and Kennedy. Also, none of them could be really low, only Trixie is safe, but not because she was bad, she just had a more background role which she did well, and she did have a slightly not that ugly dress. I mean, watch any 80s high school movie and you'll see something similar to it. But she did win the episode's mini challenge. Given that this is Violet's first time lip syncing and that Pearl's storyline is kind of over, we have to say goodbye to Pearly Girl. Yeah, a top 3 queen out in the top 7 episode. Abso fucking lootly. Episode 10 is the dancing episode in pairs thing, uh, I don't know. Violet wins the mini challenge and as such can pick her partner and she goes for Katya. Ginger's with Trixie, while Kennedy's with Kasha. Originally, the judging in pairs was done to save Pearl from losing against the Ginger in the bottom two, however, this time, the two worst queens coincidentally happen to be in the same pair. We know that Kasha can dance, we saw that in the second episode and then in her lip sync against Candy, she might struggle a little, but I don't see her as being bad at all. We saw that the looks didn't matter much this episode, so we don't even need to discuss that. Between Katya and Violet, I'd give Violet the win just because, well, it's been a while since she had one, but also her demeanor went better with the style of dance her and Katya got. And before you say anything, Katya herself has said many times that she's not a dancer, but that she's flexible and so she can trick people into thinking that she can dance. But because her partner wasn't as stiff as my dick when I see Tatiana, she will get the high placement while Kennedy safe. Kasha gets the low placement, just as a contrast to Kennedy, whereas Trixie and Ginger are in the bottom two, with Ginger, of course, winning the lip sync. The Hello Kitty episode is the last competitive episode we'll be talking about. Ginger wins the mini challenge, but Violet wins the maxi. The rest of the queens would be low. Now, Kasha is not really known as a fashionista, and her looks aren't that creative or elaborate, so I'm putting her in the bottom two with Kennedy, who, let's be real, had the worst overall showing that episode originally. Kennedy eliminates Kasha. With the top 4, the challenge does not matter at all. Based on how they've previously done it on Drag Race, we have to eliminate the least successful queen. Sadly, Katya's the queen to go here. She has the least amount of points, and even if we take away the mini challenge points, she's tied with Kennedy at 37, so Katya doesn't make it into the top 3. Now, of course, since every one of the 4 queens getting eliminated is filmed, and since Katya had such a huge fan base, they might have, in this scenario, two eliminated Kennedy, but we're looking at the season without anything mattering but the competition itself. So yeah, Katya's out. If that makes you angry, 
three value to your priorities. So the top three are Ginger, Kennedy, and Violet, as they should have been originally. Ginger has the most amount of points, and she was almost always better than the two, so she's kind of the obvious winner, right? Well, not exactly. She lip-synced for her life twice, which immediately eliminates her from winning, as did Kennedy. So in this scenario, we yet again have Violet as the winner of season 7 and Katya probably as the Miss Congeniality. Ha! Well, I'll be fucked. The final result is literally the same. We are not done with the video yet. We still have to do the shorter second part, but before we do that, I want to talk to you about Squarespace. No, I'm kidding. The second part of the video starts in episode 10, where we get Ginger and Pearl in the bottom two as, again, the worst individual performers of that challenge. And now we have to place the rest of the girls. For the same reasons as before, Violet wins, Katya's high, and Kennedy's safe. Trixie will be low, while Pearl will be eliminated by Ginger. For the 11th episode, we have more or less the same placements, with Violet as the winner, Ginger as high. However, Trixie's runway looks were not so stellar in season 7, nor was her style appreciated. I mean, she said it herself. She toned down her makeup because she wanted to win, and also she's the returning queen and isn't doing so great, so I'm putting her in the bottom two with Kennedy, and of course, just like on All Stars 3, Kennedy wins the lip sync against Trixie. So we have the same top four. A little difference in scores, but yet again, Katya's the worst out of the bunch. As much as it would hurt the show to eliminate Katya into top four, it's what has to be done. The top three are now Ginger, Kennedy, and Violet. Violet's storyline of overcoming the expectations and showing that she could stand with the queens that a lot of the time were condescending to her, never took her seriously, and never considered her as competition, would be a great one for a winner storyline. But also, out of the top three, she would have been the only one not to lip sync, not just more than once, but at all. So Violet wins in the second scenario, and Katya's, of course, Miss Congeniality. Really? This long of a video just to get the same results as originally? Well, fuck.